Honestly, just thank me later. Yesterday, I had to regroup the remainings of my last brain cells in order to be able to generate the most original, out of this world, unique ideas for a movie like Summer. So without further ado, let's dive in. Buy one new thing every time that you go grocery shopping. Plan your summer in details. The activities that you want to do, the days where you want to relax, the days where you're working. Start a YouTube channel. Have an active week where you can plan to do some hiking, some running, biking. Go to a thrift shop. Have a road trip with some friends. Pull an all-nighter with some friends. Go to your local library and pick out some books that you like, some movies, TV shows regularly for the rest of the summer. Update or improve your skincare routine. Be committed to learning a new hobby. Hobby. Take some lessons for it, plan it, give away, not sell, your clothes. Make a Polaroid album to regroup summer memories and caption all the pictures. Print valuable pictures that you have in your phone that you know you would want to show to your kids. I feel like all our parents have those photo album and they once in a while show us pictures of them when they were younger. We all have those pictures in our phone where it could just disappear in an instant. Make sure that you have them printed. Make a surprise basket for one or multiple friends. Host a cocktail party with some friends or original juice party if you're underage. Try to be famous on a platform. Start an anonymous blog, Gossip Girl style, minus the drama, please. Write a love letter to your crush. Not saying that I did this, but... <laughs> It's old fashioned and it's cute. Have a cooking marathon with some judges and you can even put your own twist in it. You tell the people that they have 45 seconds to get all of the ingredients in the grocery store and they have to get, for example, at least five ingredients. Start planning a big dream that you have as if you could actually do it. Change your style completely before school starts. You can even buy your dream wardrobe according to it. Write gratefulness letters to your friends or family. Make and stick to a workout routine. Try a new diet so it can be cute keto, it can be vegan, it can be dairy free, anything like that, and you can document the result as well. Do a bedroom makeover, change the entire style of your bedroom, paint your bedroom walls, learn about other cultures and be invested in them. Make a morning and or night routine, eat in an expensive restaurant, have a trash picking up day with your friends in your town or at the beach, try a challenge, find your celebrity lookalike and recreate pictures of them, do any sort of volunteering in an animal refuge in a nursing home, give a makeover to your car or your bike or your scooter and make it very original and unique to you so that it resembles you. Try an ice cream flavor you've never had before. Carpool karaoke with your friends and play guess the song every time that a song comes up. Have a throwback theme day. Basically just pick an era like 2010 or the 90s and then you plan your whole day with your friends where you're going to live like you're in that era. So you're going to make a playlist of 2010 songs. It's kind of like a dress up day like a theme day. You can also have a photo shoot, have a movie theme day, which is basically the same thing as the throwback theme day, but you make it a movie that you like. Dance in the rain, and if you're in a relationship, you can do so with your boy or girlfriend. Try originally flavored trees, strawberry flavored Kit Kat or white chocolate bueno. Go to a farm, go to an art gallery, organize a cozy exterior movie night. Try a meal you've never had in your favorite restaurant. Design plus make a piece of clothing or an accessory from scratch. Make and sell fresh lemonade. Have a garage sale. Buy a disposable camera and have a photo shoot day. You can pair this with the theme day that I mentioned previously. Play telephone dare with your friends. Okay, the game is like the telephone game where you say a word and then the other person has to repeat it to the next person. The first person chooses a dare and a word or a sentence that they're going to say. If the last person does not get the sentence or the word right, they have to do the dare that the first person chose. And you can like add your own spice. Like the first round, you just say one word. The second round, you say two words. And and then you continue like this until you get to a full sentence or you can even scramble random words to make it more difficult. Yes, if you are asking, I invented this indeed. Thank you, no need, no need. Ask strangers in the park to play musical chairs with you. Change your hairstyle dramatically. Play paint twisters while wearing red and blue 3D movie theater glasses. Participate in or host a color run for your town. Host a commentary session. Pick one or multiple scenes from your favorite movie or TV series that all of you and your friends have watched. You can either rewatch the whole movie or like an episode and then you all get together and you make comments about it. You can rant, you can say what you liked or you disliked about it. And of course you can do that with some snacks and having some fun. Have a car wash. Cook colorful pancakes. 
So I accidentally put 54 to 58 twice, so there was obviously no way I was going to do that all over again. There will be those numbers twice, which means five more ideas, which is better for you guys in the end. Enjoy nature. So stand next to a waterfall or stand in the middle of a forest, close your eyes and literally just listen to the sound. If you're like me and absolutely obsess over rain, you can watch a murder mystery movie or read a murder mystery book on a rainy day, have a dinner picnic with your friends in front of a sunset or a breakfast picnic in front of a sunrise. Bake a cake or some cupcakes for your neighbors. Go to a laser tag, fly a kite, start a collection, not necessarily like something cliche, like the most random thing that you can think of. I used to collect price tags. Every time that I would buy something, I would take off the tag and I had this whole pile of price tags that I would collect. Play bingo with a fun prize. Make your own ice cream. Have a compliment day where you incite yourself to compliment people in your head and you can even make it spicy and go up to them and tell them you have the most beautiful blue eyes I have ever seen in my life. Don't do that. Like you can date. Hey, I like your shirt. Where did you get it? Go to a carnival or a festival or a concert. Watch fireworks on a yacht with a glass of wine. We all wish we could, but watch some fireworks and make it spicy. Draw with chalk on your driveway or your street. Make breakfast in bed to your parents because they deserve it. Have a karaoke night. Do a roller coaster that you've always been afraid of doing. Make a summer diary, like a movie vlog style when you can film whatever you do during the summer and then you put all of the highlights of your summer together so that you can watch it at the end of the summer. And you can even do that for the upcoming summers. Make a music video of your favorite song with your friends or you can recreate a music video I can just see it in my head you guys remember that era of like movie star no not movie star video star that that's what I'm talking about make an album photo try foreign candy for the first time with your friends have a game night with lots of games start diamond painting play just dance in a spacious area with as many people as you can go on a blind date or organize a blind date buy a new set of bed sheets pillowcases blankets even a sleeping mask, buy some satin ones on Amazon if you want to feel rich. Participate in a contest of any kind, a run or a giveaway. Participate in a marathon. Actually plan a trip to a place you've always wanted to go. The cost for the plane, if you're going to take it, the activities that you're going to do. Make a memory diary with your friends that you can watch whenever. I just recently graduated and I realized that I've made a lot of friendships in high school with some friends that I might never see again. You would group either all of your friends or you can have a day individual with your friends and you can vlog it and after that you can put all of the videos together to create like a montage send it to them and then even when you're going to grow old you're going to be able to see the memories that you had with your high school friends do some aesthetic back painting give a makeover to your Instagram feed or your phone aesthetic recreate Pinterest like breakfast snacks and meals paint something that you're going to hang in your room visit a don't judge a book by its cover library what that is is basically a library or a bookstore that hides the cover of the books the only thing that you're able to see about the book is the summary that is written on the paper and what that allows you is to actually not just the book by its cover but to get it because you're actually interested in its story go zip lining own a piggy bank and actually start saving money with it you can even try the complaining jar that I had mentioned in my 50 free time fillers video do some backyard camping lay out some blankets get out some tents make it cozy and actually spend the night outside with your friends stargaze on a rooftop and have a session of storytelling with your friends have a scavenger hunt make cute handmade jewelry either for yourself or you can make some friendship bracelets buy someone or yourself a flower bouquet do some indoor climbing have a puzzle race with your friends where you like buy a set of different puzzles and you can make teams of two or be individual and then the person that finishes their puzzle the first can win a prize play hide and seek in the dark with only one flashlight attend a play have a classic movie movie marathon of any genre. Go to a record shop where you can either only take some pictures or obviously buy something. Pick your favorite rooftop where the view is just amazing and have a picnic on it with some friends. Go to a fancy event like an opera or a gala or a red carpet or even host your own fancy event without having any special occasion. Have a yes day with your younger siblings or a kid that you know or that you babysit. This is either going to be the best or the worst decision and experience of your life. Finally, 
go to a greenhouse or an insectarium. So these are all of the crazy bucket list ideas that I had for you guys today. And I expect that you at least try one of those things. Also, don't hesitate to comment your summer bucket list ideas. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and to subscribe to my channel in order to see more similar content. And I will see you in my next video.